And first, the good news that concrete that came down from way up there yesterday was not structural. What that means, it's not responsible for holding the bridge up. The bad news, though, is that all that crum crumbling cement is a sign of a highway that needs some major repairs. The signs of the gardener's age are hard to miss. Crumbling concrete, exposed rebar, rust and cracks. Then yesterday, chunks of falling concrete. You can see actually where there are areas that need re rehabilitation. I mean, visually, you can see it. While the elevated highway is still structurally sound, the safety concerns are obvious. Falling concrete could land on cars or people below. If it is falling off from a structural element, then it is, it is, it is of concern to any engineer. Problem is, it keeps happening over and over again as road salt and water eat away at the structure. But over time, as water penetrates that uh, deck, it starts corroding the steel and it pops off. The city conducts regular inspections and maintenance, even chipping away loose concrete. But the road needs a serious overhaul. There's a $98 million backlog of repairs. The city admits it has purposely fallen behind on maintenance of the eastern stretch of the Gardner Expressway. That's because for a time there was a debate about whether or not the roadway would be torn down. It has been deferred and now we have to catch up on that work. Over the next few years, the city says the Gardner will need a major overhaul, one that will extend the life of the expressway before it falls into critical condition or experiences a catastrophic failure like this overpass in Laval, Quebec. As long as we are maintaining that and we are addressing these issues, then there is uh, no concern, no, no huge concern. Meanwhile, concerns about the crumbling Gardner Expressway have made it all the way to Ottawa, where federal New Democrats now lobbying the Harper Conservatives to spend millions and help Toronto deal with all of its crumbling infrastructure.